Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be making two different types of waffles and this is everything you are gonna need. Mother's Day is coming and I don't know about your wives, moms, grandmas, but I am not a Belgian waffle fan. So today we are gonna be making some deliciously pillowy, crispy, yeasted dough waffles that you can prep the night before. So for all of this, you're gonna need some bacon, melted butter, yeast, vanilla extract, flour, eggs, salt always, blueberries, strawberries, our amazing fan favorite honey hob, some maple sugar, strawberry powder, carbonated sugar, bourbon, maple syrup, and a bottle of champagne. So we are gonna start with the dough. For that specifically, you're gonna need that melted butter, the yeast, vanilla, flour, eggs, salt, and we're gonna be using our maple sugar to sweeten this up. So we're gonna start by just adding those dry ingredients in, our flour, salt, yeast, and two tablespoons of our maple sugar. This stuff smells like fresh baked cookies. And we're just gonna give that a little toss to incorporate it in. And next we are gonna incorporate these bad boys one by one while the mixer is going. So this is gonna start out as a really sticky and thick dough. Um, I really cranked my stand mixer up to get it to come together really nicely. Um, you're gonna see a little bit of separation. It helps if you unlock it. But, we're looking for smooth incorporation. You're already seeing some of the gluten stretching in there, the yeast being activated. This could technically be considered a liege dough. Um, so all that means is it's got yeast and you can throw some yummy Belgium sugar crystals in it and get this caramelized deliciousness. But today we are gonna achieve all that for my lovely maple sugar. So after we're happy with this, we are just gonna scoop it into an ungreased bowl. Cover it up and let it hang out for an hour and a half. So for our first waffle, it's gonna be a blueberry bacon bourbon and we are gonna cook that bacon using our honey hob. So I've got four pieces here. I'm gonna put in the pan and before it gets too hot, I'm gonna sprinkle that honey hob right on top of it. All right, so we are just gonna scoop right into this jar and sprinkle over the top. All right, so while the bacon is cooking, we are gonna make some champagne syrup for the strawberry champagne waffle. We're only gonna use a cup of this, so obviously you need to save it for mimosas for your mom. So we're gonna use a cup of the champagne. It's gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio in the syrup. Now, if you want a stickier, drippier syrup, I would add more sugar. If you want a thinner, more of a sauce texture, I would stick with more champagne. And then in goes our sugar. And we're gonna stir this together, let it come to a simmer and have all that sugar dissolve. And if you've got little kids eating waffles with you, make sure you let all that alcohol burn off as well. All right, so I've done the first flip of my bacon and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more honey hob on the other side of this. All right, so bacon's about to come off. I like my bacon extra crispy, so do not judge me. That is not burnt, it is flavor. Um, especially with the honey granules in that blend, it's gonna crisp up a lot faster because you've got all that sugar. So we are gonna let these sit and cool and then we'll chop them up and then we'll go in one of our waffles. All right, so our champagne syrup has been simmering for probably about 20 minutes. I am just gonna take it and dump it into this measuring cup and let it cool. The more it cools, the thicker it's gonna get. And you're just gonna have that beautiful light amber color. Our bacon has cooled, so we are gonna chop this up into some little pieces to go 
in some of our waffle dough and on top. Ooh, that crunch is so nice. All right, so our dough has rested. Um, if you are prepping this the night before, you can totally pop this in the fridge. It won't kill the yeast, it'll just give it a nice pause. And then you can whip it out in the morning and start from here. We are gonna go with the bacon, bourbon, and blueberry first. I like to use an ice cream scoop, and I just scoop it in there, get a little bit extra, roll it into a nice little ball. We are gonna pop it on here. That honey habanero bacon we made, we're gonna sprinkle on top, and then close it up. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes since we put this bad boy on, and it is looking delicious. All that bacon is in there. It's got a nice golden color to the outside. I am so excited. I'm gonna pop this guy off. We are gonna start by sprinkling some blueberries on first. Blueberries on a hot waffle. It just softens them up a bit. I like to layer my waffles. So we've got some of this bourbon maple syrup going on just to really soak in there. Some homemade whipped cream, because it's the best kind. Always, always more bacon. More blueberries. An extra drizzle of that maple syrup. And then we are just gonna give it a little extra oomph and sprinkle more of that maple syrup, sugar right over the top. I don't know about you, but that looks phenomenal. I am so excited. Okay, we're gonna set this guy aside. Don't let it go too far. And we are gonna do our strawberry champagne next. So, I've got a little bowl of our maple sugar. I'm gonna take our strawberry powder, which is so cool. It tastes like strawberry candy and also farm fresh strawberries all at the same time. I don't know how we do it. And I'm gonna put some scoopfuls of that in and just mix it up with that maple sugar. Perfect. And we will take another scoop of dough. Handy dandy ice cream scooper coming in. Woo, that stretch. Roll it up and then you are just gonna coat it. There is that beauty. I know she looks dark, but it's just that strawberry powder and the sugar. She is looking awesome. We are gonna do a little bit of that champagne syrup on top, especially when it's hot, it just soaks into the waffle and gives it all that extra yummy flavor. Top it with, top it with some strawberry slices. How can you go wrong with some yummy spring strawberries? Some more of that delicious whipped cream. Can never have too much. Extra strawberries. That strawberry powder we sprinkled on the waffle, we're gonna do a little bit on top. Coming in with some more of that champagne syrup. And now for the fun part. You cannot cook with bubbly and not have a little snap crackle pop. You've got two amazing options for your Mother's Day weekend. A killer, salty, sweet, spicy balance, and a wonderful twist on a classic. And now it is time to taste these bad boys. It's a great day to skip breakfast. Oh man, 
I get everything in there. This is an amazing combination. You get the classic strawberries and cream with that champagne aftertaste, and the carbonated sugar is an amazing pop of texture. What could go wrong? All right. This is my personal favorite. I am not a huge sweets person first thing in the morning, so to have something that is salty and sweet and a little bit of spicy, it is everything I could ask for for a Mother's Day breakfast. It's perfect. The bacon and the blueberries. And how could you go wrong with bourbon maple syrup? All right guys, thanks for hanging out in my kitchen. You can find this recipe and many more to spice up your Mother's Day brunch and show them really how much you appreciate them at spiceology.com. Thanks for watching, come back next time.